we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello everyone, the weather forecast has promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson and very excited to be bringing you this European Championship qualifier. It's Iceland versus the Netherlands. Well thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, it can be seen as a very defensive shape, but if they have good athletes in midfield, which they have, who are ready to break forward as soon as possession is won, they can still pose a big threat today. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. Donny van de Beek starts alongside Frenkie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And so the battle commences. An effective ball. De Jong plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce well he can be very unpredictable and let's face it devastating out there on the pitch Memphis Depay Stewart what might we see from him in this match well Derek he's a great all-round player but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat and when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper he usually scores must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. De Jong. <whistles> On to Van der Beek. De Jong. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. But it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Dumfries. Now with De Jong. Donny van der Beek. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. I am no. Giving the ball away. Bjorn Sigurdarsson. 
Sigurdsson looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead Frankie de Jong Van de Beek magnificent challenge to win it back Johan Berg Goodmanson promising looking ball well he wasn't messing around with the clearance teammate and support aware of the threat solving the problem Sigurdsson and a crisp effort just over the top Van der Beek Jorginho Wijnaldum well as you can see the Netherlands have enjoyed more of the ball but in terms of creating chances they've been well below their normal standards unless that changes quickly it's going to be a really frustrating day for them Jorginho Wijnaldum here's Berghuis well couldn't keep it It certainly wasn't a clean tackle and the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. Oh, he's gone for goal. And that was a free kick hit with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. Dumfries. Wijnaldum now. There will be one minute added on at the end. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. And so the battle commences. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Bechman. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. And teammates to play it to. Hermansson. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Now can they counter clinically? Dangerous looking through ball. A wonderful intervention. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Goodmanson. Losing possession here. De Ligt. 
Donny van der Beek. Wijnaldum now. Slipshod passing. 30 minutes to go then. Well, no luck keeping possession. Jorginho Wijnaldum. The verdict is offside here. So making the substitution now. Plenty of options. A sloppy pass. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Virgil van Dijk. Wijnaldum now. Frankie de Jong. Now they're sitting ever deeper. The pie. Very comfortable when in possession. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. De Jong. Wijnaldum now. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Now they're on the scent of something positive. Lost possession. Flint. Van Dijk with it. Martin de Roon. De Licht. It's with de Roon. The pie. Martin de Roon. And the pie on the ball. Tension building still level. De Jong. Well, visionary passing. Now he's got to stay calm. Oh, they've done it. They forged ahead. See? And it might be the goal that gives them victory. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. De Jong. Ah. Oh, tremendous block. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, high marks for that pass. Can he finish them off? Oh, magnificent reaction. And so the final whistle here, the visitors come out on top, Stuart. Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going, and they eventually got their reward. Hello, it's great to be with you, and this is the scene here at the magnificent Johan Cruyff Arena in Amsterdam. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And on the menu, this European Championship qualifier. It's the Netherlands against Northern Ireland. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though.
Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Jasper Sillesen is the goalkeeper. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Stefan de Vrij in central defence. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Jorginho Wijnaldum in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. And the game begins. Wijnaldum. Careless in possession. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? De Jong. Oh, big chance. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The idea was to begin. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Are back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Really good challenge. Wijnaldum. Now successfully cut out. Oliver Norwood and winning it back Wijnaldum De Jong able to skip past his man and it's two for him today a masterful performance the unable to stop him Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Well, a second goal for them here. Great Cathcart. Norwood
Well, as you can see, the Netherlands have enjoyed more of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Beckman. Wijnaldum. Well, it could be on for him here. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable to this. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. De Jong Wijnaldum now and they'll be happy to have regained possession inching towards the interval and it's going with home advantage Stuart as always very keen to get your take well what a first half performance this has been so far they look like scoring every time they go forward the positional rotation the ability of players to run with the ball and the passing have been brilliant Let's hope we see a similar display in the second 45. Wijnaldum. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. That is how to apply the pressure. The high press was very much on. And ah! eyes for goal. Lopsided contest, 4-0. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. And the game begins. De Jong. And they will make the change now. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Donny van der Beek. Martin de Roon. They really look after the ball when they have it. Reindal. Van der Beek. Oh, in with a chance. Oh, there it is. It's one goal after another. And it's Three. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Time for a change then. The ball rolling again and what has been an utterly one-sided match. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Now they've given him too much space. And they'll get ready for the throw in. And a substitution in the offing. 
Van de Beek. Hans Hattebor. Dangerous looking attack. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, just over the crossbar. Excellent effort. Well, those stats back up what we've been watching. It's been a really one-sided game. And it's far too easy for them to open up this defence. This could turn into a rout. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Boyce. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Stuart Dallas. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Charles. Well, possession seeded. Hans Hattebor. And into the last 20 minutes. <laughs> Wasteful again in possession. Ah! Defensive efficiency personified. Smith. Now with Chandler's. Boyce. On to Chandler's. Oliver Norwood. Can he finish? Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Let's see about the delivery. Well, he didn't have too much room to work with, but a long way off target. Martin Deron. Bechman, committed challenge, not a great pass. Well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Martin de Roon. De Jong, precise ball movement. I well, just couldn't play that decisive ball. This could be dangerous. Oh, what's he gone and done? Sends it back. Ah! They couldn't maintain possession. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Slipshod passing. Beckman. And that always looked likely to run through to the keeper. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Dallas. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace. And the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great... This is the night both sets of supporters have been waiting for. Not long now until kickoff on match day one in the Champions League. Who will get off to a positive start with all three points? Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Well, the rain was in the forecast here at Anfield and whoever predicted it got it spot on. No change on the weather front. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Liverpool up against Ajax. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match.
And the starting 11 for Ajax. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre-forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Tiago. Now Mo Salah. Did well to win the ball back. Well, match day one in the UEFA Champions League. Derek, this could be a goal here. Big chance it is. Well, I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Played over. And the problem not completely solved. No foul play, says the referee. Well, no card from the referee, Stuart. But I think it's good refereeing. He's just letting everybody know who's in charge here. Not the worst free kick in the world, but the goalkeeper equal to it. Well, there to intercept. Thumps clear. Not an especially strong challenge. And his teammate got him out of trouble. A running room in the wide position. Deciding to go inside. But quick thinking defensively. Oh, lovely ball. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he's got great pace, whether he's running with the ball or running in behind defenders. And that's what makes him such a threat on the counter-attack. And I'm sure that's going to be the tactics today from his team. Well read to ease the pressure. Diogo Jota just cutting off the supply Magajan went in strongly to win the ball Thiago Mane and still danger here and the danger is averted Edson Alvarez and if you make your move too early you're always in danger of being ruled offside ah. Liverpool have given it away will it happen for them and the referee has pointed to the spot penalty given and into the book he goes too well once he gave the penalty he was always going to give him a yellow card This to make it 1-0. And slot it home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Two. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision.
And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Joe Gomez. Henderson has it. Salah. Jota. Well, nothing productive, really. Oh, judgment error by the keeper. Spectacular save. Top-class goalkeeping. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? Chance, maybe. Salah. He cuts it back. Fabinho. Oh, it might be. Oh, a goal for Liverpool, who are now on level terms. So back underway following the equaliser. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Edson Alvarez. Bechman. And Ajax struggling to keep the ball. Salah. Henderson. Well, big news for PSG fans. They've got the man, Stuart. Well, at around £60 million, I think he'll prove to be an excellent signing. Ah. Yes, he'll be under pressure, but he's got the character and, more importantly, the ability to cope with it. Well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, maybe a little fortunate, Stuart, not to see a second yellow. Well, he has to be careful. That's a really silly challenge. Oh, a glorious save by the keeper. And nothing wrong with that free kick either. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, thumped clear. And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. And that pass could be troublesome, and nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Right, new developments at the Reale Arena, so let's hear all about them from Alex. It's a goal for Real Sociedad. It's now 1-0 with 58 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Good-looking ball. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Virgil van Dijk. Henderson. Applying vigorous pressure. It might be on for them. Will it happen for them? Can he put them in front? Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Salah, giving the ball away, and does well to keep it in play, Miranda, Bechman, <laughs> having won the ball back they might be able to profit, just hearing in my headphones, there's been a goal at the Reale Arena, and that means we join Alex Scott. It's another goal for Real Sociedad. It was a low-driven cross into a crowded area, but he was there from close range to finish that move off. They're pulled ahead by two with 72 minutes played. Can they get themselves in front here? Oh, excellent diving stop. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And over it comes. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. And here come Liverpool. A goal at this late stage might settle things. No way through. Well, time is running out to get this winner. 
but the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. Salah. Well, poor technique. And a goal kick coming up. Beckman. Now what can they do from here? Oh, great vision. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here it is again, and there's the touch on the shot. But it's just not enough, is it? He'll be so frustrated that he didn't keep that out. So making the substitution now. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Fabinho. Here is Thiago. Fabian. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Well, Liverpool need to step it up here because they're fat. And the referee blows his whistle. Ajax delighted because it's three points for starters. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out and they'll be in a great position. When the draw was made for this round of the competition, it was this match that captured everyone's attention. Arguably two of the favourites to go all the way. It's going to be fascinating. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. A big night here at a stadium named after one of the greats of world football. We're at the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And very excited to be bringing you this group stage game from the UEFA Champions League. It's Ajax up against Real Sociedad. Well, Derek, these were very good in their opening games. Both look to be in top form. This should be a great game today. And the starting 11 for Ajax. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. So the starting 11 for Real Sociedad. Porto plays with Oya Sabal in the wide areas. And playing up front today is Angel Correa. And this Champions League group stage contest commences.
They couldn't maintain possession. Alderweireld. A lot of interest from the pundits in Toby Alderweireld. Returning to his boyhood club, a big moment for him. And you have to say, what a warm reception the fans have given him. Well, he always talks about his development as a young player here, and the fans appreciate that. He's certainly left on good terms. That's why he's getting this warm reception. And he was in the right place to intercept. Has eyes for goal! Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping, real concentration. So the corner played into the box. Is this the moment? Ah! A very effective challenge put in. Well, I think it's fair to say the fans aren't too happy with that decision. Well, he's given it away. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Space afforded him. And intercepts again. Here's Berghaus. Is it going to be? And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Three. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Porto. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Here's Berghaus. Grafenberg. It's with Berghaus. Bechmann. Excellent vision. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Let's see about the delivery. And a corner there that really lacked guile. There to win it back. Will they get themselves level here? Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And now the delivery. And the danger still on. Silva. And now Correa. David Silva making his way forward. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Well, it's been quite clear that Ajax have been second best in terms of possession. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Determined defending. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. And borderline offside, but correct. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Mazraoui. On to Paqueta. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. A chance there. And the ball is moving again, with Ajax looking to build on a largely positive first-half performance here. Bechmann. This might be ideal for the counter. Could cross it in here. 
Head over towards the back post. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Well, offside here. Such a pity for them. Chance was on. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Real Sociedad taking on Liverpool. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that Oh, spot. hang on, Stuart. Look at this. Well, it might still work out for them. And a goal it is. But in all honesty, the keeper should have Three. done much, much better. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, they keep passing away. Turam. Correa. Who continues his run. Oh, moving it nicely. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Here's Berghaus. Edson Alvarez. Here's Berghaus. Well, it looked as though they might be in just for a second or two. And a decent delivery, foiling them effectively. Mehmet Zeki Celik. Ajax looking dangerous. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Substitution time it is here. Who's going to get on the end of it? And block for now. And he read it superbly. Well, he likes to run at them. Very difficult challenge to perform, but he succeeded. Well, no surprise there. Real Sociedad have had more of the possession, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tip. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Well, they've decided to make a change. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, they survived the attack. Giving the ball away. And they need to get tighter. Beckman. And the referee spotted the foul. That's a foul. And it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, when you endanger the safety of your opponent with a challenge, you're going to be sent off. It's that simple. Yeah, what was he thinking? That's a definite red card. The referee had no option. And they're making a change. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. The referee is given a corner. It hasn't come to very much. <whistles> Piri. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Kudus. 
An alert intervention. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. With the try, and the keeper there to deal with it. And there's the delivery. It didn't happen for them. He's going to have a go here. And effectively parried away by the keeper. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, another excellent result. And it's the perfect start. Of course, they're not through yet. But another good performance. And they'll surely make the knockout stages.